So everybody knows grad students make so much money every single month, right? Just kidding. But if you do want to figure out how to survive on a graduate student's budget, definitely watch this video. So I'm Toyin from the Academic Society and I help graduate students find that sweet spot that's in the intersection of adulting and graduate school through time management and organization so that you can feel less stressed and less overwhelmed in graduate school. So today's video is all about how to, su how to survive on a grad student's budget. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. So if you're a PhD student, you're probably being supported by some type of assistantship. Maybe it's a research assistantship or a teaching assistantship. Or if you're a master's student, maybe uh, you're partially funded or you have some type of stipend. If not, maybe you work. But one thing is for sure, you make a certain amount of, you can expect to make a certain amount of money every single month and you need to learn how to manage it well and how to survive without feeling hopeless and helpless when, when you're already in a stressful situation. All right, so the first thing that you have to figure out is you have to get a concrete number on how much money you're gonna make each month that you're expected to survive on. All right, so go ahead and check your pay stub uh, for your payroll or your monthly stipend and figure out exactly how much money you make each month and write it down. So once you've written that number down, also write down the exact date that you receive it. So maybe it is the last weekday of the month, maybe it's the last Friday of the month, or maybe you get every two weeks. I don't know any, I didn't know any graduate students that got paid every two weeks, but maybe you do. So definitely write down how much you earn and the exact date that you'll receive that money every single month. And also, if you want more details about how to survive on a grad student's budget, as well as a spreadsheet that you can use to keep track of the money going in and out of your account, as well as how much you want to save each month, definitely click the link below and uh, subscribe and enroll in my free email course on how to survive on a grad student's budget. So once you've figured out how much you will earn each month, it's first, first you need to figure out what are your fixed expenses. So fixed expenses are the amount of money that you pay each month on things like bills. So things that reoccur every single month without fail, right? So this will be maybe your car payment, your rent, your electric bill, water bill, garbage, your internet, um, monthly subscriptions like uh, Netflix and Hulu. So these are things that happen every single month and you will have to pay them without fail. So what I want you to do is write down all of your uh, fixed expenses and how much you pay on average every single month. Once you've figured out your fixed expenses, go ahead and move on to the fun stuff, your flexible expenses. So these are things that are different and vary every single week or every single month like groceries, right? depending on what you have in your refrigerator or in your cabinets, you might not need to buy as many groceries or maybe you're busy and you're going to restaurants, all right? So those are things that are flexible and change every single month. Also things like gas, maybe you don't travel as much or shopping if you have time to shop, these are all of your flexible expenses. So write down all of the things that you could typically uh, spend money on within a month. So things that may or may not occur each month. You just wanna go ahead and have a running list. So maybe you can decide later when and at what time you can uh, make those purchases on these flexible expenses. So once you have your fixed and flexible expenses written down, it's time to put them in a spreadsheet. So I've created a spreadsheet for you and if you would like it, definitely enroll in my free five day email course. So you'll just get an email every single day for five days with little mini lessons on finance in there for you. And on day three, you will get a spreadsheet for you to input all of your information so I've already created the template for you all you have to do is put in your numbers so in uh, the spreadsheet it will also calculate your flex spending amount so what is that so I actually learned that from a financial advisor that I had once so flex spending is the amount of money that you can spend on whatever you want and it just gives you so much freedom in a strict budget so you don't have to feel like I can't spend money on anything because it is not in my budget you just put it in your budget, put in an amount of money that you want to spend each month on whatever you want. 
So there is a formula to figure out your fixed spending, um, your flex spending amount. So all it is, is you figure out your total amount that you're gonna earn each month, subtract your fixed and your flexible expen uh, expenses, and then also subtract however much you want to save each month. And then once you get that number, that's what you have left over in the month, divide it by four. And now you have an amount that you can spend every single week on whatever you want to spend it on. And it just gives you so much freedom and you feel so much better about life when you know, oh, I have $114 that I can spend on whatever I want every single week. All right, so once you've done all of these steps, you've set yourself up to be able to have a financially, I don't wanna say free, financially free um, experience in graduate school, but you can stop uh, worrying and stressing about money if you know exactly where it's gonna go and exactly how you're gonna spend it. And then you have a little wiggle room and you have a little freedom with your flex spending account. All right, so I hope that you enjoyed this video. And if you are interested in that free um, email course, definitely sign up below. If you liked it, give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. Also, if you know another graduate student that needs help in this area, uh, share this video with them and hopefully I can help them as well. All right, have a wonderful day.